you want to know what the best thing about this movie is? Eva, Eva Mendez's boobs. Because they show up in all shots of this whole movie. That is the saving grace. Oh, there's also a lot of this. A lot of fucking pointing in this movie. Ghost Rider. This movie is such a poor, half ass attempt of the actual comic books. It is sad. Now, I know a lot about the Ghost Rider comic books because my mom is a fan of Ghost Rider and Spider Man. That's right, my 60 year old mother is a fan of Ghost Rider and Spider Man back in the day. So she knows a lot about Ghost Rider and Spider Man too that I didn't even know about. So, logically, when the movies came out, we went to go see Ghost Rider in 2007. We saw Spider-Man in 2002, of course. And when my mom can say that this movie was nothing like the comic books what so fucking ever but just a Hollywood's poor excuse to make a fucking adaptation of a Marvel comic, we got problems. So... Let's get started with this movie. First off, I'm going to come, I'm going to review the movie and then I'm going to compare some scenes. The story revolves around Johnny Blaze's dad. Johnny Blaze finds out his dad has cancer, so he makes a deal with the devil. Okay, but when his dad dies anyways, the fucking devil tells him, basically makes him his bounty hunter. No, I didn't make no mistake. Bounty hunter. Even Nicolas Cage says it in the fucking movie. Bounty hunter, fuck you. Okay, fuck you. Ugh. Okay, that is the plot. How is the rest of this movie? Bad. So, let's get on to the acting. The acting of this fucking movie is a waste of time. The two best standouts in this movie is Sam Elliott and fucking Peter Fonda. Okay, that's it. And their characters are even fucked up in the movie, but they're the most, the only two that stands out because they're the only two that does a good job in acting. Eva Mendes, Nicolas Cage, who wanted to play a fucking superhero for all of his life. When he couldn't play Superman, thank God he didn't touch Superman. Thank God Tim Burton didn't touch Superman. That would have been atrocious. I've seen the photos. That would have been atrocious. Okay? I would have sat through Superman 4, then watched Superman Lives. But anyway. Fucking the dude from Grounded for Life. Everybody just phones it in. Like, yeah, what's up? I'm in Ghost Rider. See me? Yeah, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm just here with the paycheck. Did, did it clear? Yeah, it clear? Okay. Yeah, so the check clear. We're good. Ugh, suck a dick. Ugh. Fuck, man. Fuck. Look, Nicholas Cage, you're my... You're one of my okay actors. You're not my favorite actor, because, because, uh, over the years, your acting has gone down. Down. Ooh, it went down. I don't know what happened since Con Air, but shit. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, acting is crap. The villains in this movie, oh Jesus, are such a step down and from their former selves in the comics, it's not even funny. Blackheart's henchmen, so not even the henchmen from the fucking book. I think they're just movie versions of themselves. Uh, and they're taken down within seconds. Not minutes, but seconds. It only takes Ghost Rider seconds. And he don't even have to touch him. All he had to do was whip around his fucking hell chain. Or gives him the, uh, what is that called? It's called it starts with a P. That's when he looks into their eyes and they, and they they basically, he basically washes all the evil out of their fucking, the sins and stuff out of their eyes and make their eyes like charcoal. That's awesome. That's the fucking best thing about this movie is that scene where he's fucking, fucking mind fucking their asses. That's it. That's all this movie have to offer? <laughs> mm. Let's get to the bad guys. Peter Fonda's character looks nothing. And I say nothing like himself in the comic books. In the comic books, he looks more like a fucking demon. Okay? And here he's in human form. Just all fucked up. 
His son looks like a fucking Twilight reject. Okay? In the comic books, he looks like Black fucking Mantis. With bigger things going down the back of his head with a fucking mask. And a matter of fact, he's not even supposed to be in the fucking first movie. This is an origin story. He, Blackheart doesn't appear until an episode, an episode, an issue, a fucking daredevil, if I'm not mistaken. So having him in the first movie is an abomination to cinema already. Then was already wrong with this whole fucking movie. Okay? Everything, the action is bland. There, There is no really good action in this movie. None. Okay, it's just a lot of riding around, whipping chains, throwing helicopters, driving up buildings, driving down buildings, shooting, and that's it. Oh, and getting hit by a truck. That's no good action. That's, what is that? Okay, I want to see Ghost Rider do shit. Okay, I don't want to see him riding around for two hours and three minutes. We get it, he rides. When's he gonna fucking kick ass? He kicked more ass in Spirit of Vengeance than he did this movie. <sighs> in the comic books, Johnny Blaze's dad dies. Okay? His girlfriend's father takes him in. He finds out his girlfriend's father has cancer. He sells his soul to the devil. When the fucking devil intervenes, Roxy intervenes, and then he becomes a ghost rider. That's not in this movie. In this movie, her father hates him. Okay? And then, and then you take two Ghost Rider comic books and make them one. You take the fucking Jane Blaze comic book, and then you take the, is it David, David Ketch comic book? And you just combine them, and it, just, it, it don't look right. It, it just doesn't look right, man. It, it looks stupid. Very stupid. Hmm. <sighs> God damn, this movie blue. Blue. And unfortunately for me, I'm going to give Ghost Rider because I did like the the Hell Chain. I did like that mind fuck he was doing. And for whatever reason, something else stands out in my mind, but I can't remember it because this movie is such a piece of crap. But I'm going to spare it a F because I did enjoy a few aspects of it. I'm going to give Ghost Rider a D. D for dumb. Dumb dick. Dumb ass. Shit. Let me know what you guys think about Ghost Rider down below. But, even though this one was kind of crap, Spirit of Vengeance saved it. Oh my god, did that movie save it good. So, I got something to look forward to. Hmm.